Hey, so a lot of people who know me know I'm a big comic book fan and they know even better that I'm a big Punisher fan. So I kind of get asked which is my favourite Punisher movie? Is it the one with uh, Dolph Lundgren from the 80s? Is it the one with Thomas Jane? Is it the one with Ray Stevenson? It's actually none of these. My favourite Punisher movie isn't even a Punisher movie. My favourite Punisher movie is a Grindhouse movie called The Exterminator. Uh, this is a very basic revenge movie. It's um, a Grindhouse movie. It's directed by James Glickenhaus. Um, I kind of done an overview of this movie on my recommendations. And uh, I got his name wrong. It's, it's James Glickenhaus. But uh, this is his first movie. He does a lot of schlock action movies. He done a movie called McBain. Nothing to do with the Simpsons character. A uh, very schlocky kind of action movie starring Christopher Walken called McBain. But this is his first his first big action movie. Um... Essentially, The Exterminator is a revenge vigilante movie. Um, a chap by the name of John Easterland uh, is a Vietnam vet. He was in Vietnam. He was rescued by his buddy Jefferson from the Viet Cong and they came home. And they ended up working on the docks. Uh, while working in New York City, uh, his mate Jefferson gets crippled by a gang called the Ghetto Ghouls. And... Um, Fucking John Easterland, he he's like, fuck it, is this what is this what I fought for? Is this what my buddies died for? So he decides to tool up, take on the ghetto ghouls, take on pimps, pedophiles, mobsters. He goes to fucking town on these guys. Um, it's a visceral movie. Of course, it's a grindhouse movie. It is incredibly visceral, and it is incredibly unsettling. Um, for example, he. He uses fire, he feeds a mobster into a meat grinder, he he breaks up a pedophile ring in a brothel, he, he has a, a gun filled with uh, mercury and shoots a guy in the uh, stomach and if like the shot didn't kill him the, the mercury going through the system would horribly kill him. Um, Ginty isn't the most imposing chap in the world. In fact, he's 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 a regular bloke. You could believe this guy's a regular infantry officer, which works really well because he's he's not Schwarzenegger, he's not Stallone. You could see this guy walking the streets, icing these low lives, and um, he's 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 very convincing. Um, the the actor Robert Ginty, he wasn't in much. He he he's not. He's not very vocal. He's not very, um, very kind of one-liner-ish. He he makes he makes deals with people. He goes, look, I'll tell you what. If you give me this piece of information, uh, I'll let you go. But if you're lying to me, I'll come back and I'll fuck you up. And and he he has a code. He has a sense of honor. Um, Glickenhaus has said that he did kind of want to do a western. He did want to do. The kind of the stranger who's just wants to set settle down and like you know be left alone, but but society fucks with him. And this is essentially Ginty's character. This guy comes back from the war, he just wants to be settled down and be left alone, but that ain't happening. Um, to me, the Exterminator is essentially one of the best revenge movies out there. It's up there with Death Wish. It is. A definitive revenge movie and if you're a fan of Grindhouse and if you're a fan of revenge movies uh, check it out um, the sad thing is I don't think it gets enough credit that it's due because I think Exterminator influenced a lot of things it, it, it a lot of movies and a lot of games Drive I think Drive which had a, a historic kind of character dealing out a very kind of rough and ready justice. Hotline Miami, you had these guys coming back, uh, being vigilantes after suffering from PTSD during war. The Exterminator has had its influences on contemporary pop culture, and I don't think it gets enough credit where it's due. There was a sequel. It wasn't great. Mario Van Peebles is in it. Ginty's riding around in the battle wagon. It's, it's shit. 
Um, but no, seriously, if you get a chance, pick up the Exterminator. I got this for like a tenner uh, online, um, ten euro. I don't know what that that is stateside, but but uh, yeah, if you're a fan of revenge movies and if you're a fan of grindhouse movies, uh, check this out because this is this is a kind of cult classic. So. My name is Martin Green, this has been the Trash Picture Show and um, it's been a good one.